Hey everyone, Matt here. So it's April 29th, and today I'm gonna continue on with our uh, early season swarm prevention. And I'm doing something different this year. Um, previously, what I would do in other seasons is, at this point, I would leave the, um, the parent colony alone until about day 10 or 11. Then I would go in there and I would evaluate all the queen cells that they made. Um, I would call out the, the smaller ones. And depending on if I was gonna leave that colony as a whole, then I would reduce it down to two of the biggest queen cells I could find. And if I was gonna split it out and make uh, some smaller nukes out of that, divide it up, then I would make sure that there was about two queen cells in each one of those. Um, but this year I'm gonna do something different. I was uh, recently listening to a podcast uh, and it was uh, beekeeping at uh, Five Apple Farms. And she said something that I've never heard about before, and she referred to it as a walk back to it split. And what that is, is what you do is you go in on the fifth day after you made the split. And um, at that point you would go and all of the, the more developed uh, queen cups or soon to be queen cells, you would call those ones out because those were made uh, with older larvae. And obviously the smaller ones would be the ones that they made with um, the newest larvae, probably just hatching out of the eggs. Um, and then those larvae would be better because they were treated like a queen right from the start, right? So they've been fed a whole bunch of royal jelly, big pool, right? Right from the start. So it would make a better queen. So I thought that was interesting. And so I'm going to try that this year. Um, so that's what today is, is day five for some of them. So I'm going to go in and do that, um, but I'm probably just going to show you clips of queen cells uh, just because of the, the time sensitivity of it. I just want to go in really quick, find the, um, the queen cells and, and move on. But uh, so let's get started. Okay, so there's one at the bottom, obviously that you can see right there. And then there's one just in the middle here. So there's another three right here. I thought it was a queen cup and I opened it, but you can see it gives you a really good look at that. Uh, that larvae in there. And there's three, four actually on this little frame there that look rather new. So I'll probably keep these ones that are up in this corner here are really young. So I'll probably keep those two and then call out these other two here and call out those big cells that I've seen previously. There's another medium sized one right here and then on this same frame you can kind of see it through there. That one which is almost capped too. So there's a nice young one right here and there's another one they formed in here and then there's another young one right up in here. So there's this one right up here, right there, and then there's on this other side, there's one which is right here, and then there's one that is right here. So there's one right here, and then on the same frame, there's another one right here. So these are the youngest four that I've found in this hive which is the Lands East Hive. But I'm probably going to cull out these two and then leave the two outside ones there. It's funny that this is like a whole drone brood section and then they do have one that's just pulled out right here, which obviously is good. And then there's this one down here. Which we'll just grab it, clean that out. And on this other side, they had this one up here. Whoa. There we go. So here's a bigger one. Look inside there. See how big that larva is in there now? It's a big one. We're going to get rid of that one. Whoops, that was kind of messy. 
So this one's also a larger one that has this little worker in there. Just peel that one out. Oops. So this one has four. So there's one here. One here. One here. And then right here there's two more. Watch out. There. One more on this side right here. So this one has this one here and this one here, which looks like kind of the youngest. But there's uh, also, you can see in there, just teeny tiny larvae all through here. So uh, they might make some more. There's some really small ones up here, almost eggs up here. So, but we've taken out all the older ones. So this hive should be good to go.